You're breaking my heart with your eyes. She's killing me. He's got something. Mm hmm Shame he keeps it hidden in that scrawny chicken body. Madonna, no. Sam. I pity talks her around. Oh, way. She's already started. A woman like you is not in your nature. You're a loving, sensual woman. Unbidden by rules. <laughs> that may well be, but I've still got to give her a ticket. We don't have to do anything. Except maybe explore the attraction that I think we're both feeling. I want to know all about you. Yep. He's got something all right. And I wanted him my club. But he's not a stripper. What am I supposed ah. to do with him? Hmm. Something sexy. What is your favorite? Sausages. Look, I know I um, said I'd be... Oh, that's right. We talked about this and you said that I was... Sure. Party of five under what name? I was meant to be on first. <laughs> that's great. She likes the way the fur hugs me here, as do I. No, I don't. It's hideous. Sorry. No, not you. Get in line, Mr. Puniverse. Sam. Has anyone seen my other cuff? Sam? Sam? Sam! You two, piss off backstage and get yourselves ready. You, forget the phone, go backstage and sort out your strippers. You, make yourself useful and help clean up this mess. And when you finish that, take these, go down to the bottle store and get another tray of glasses. I can trade on my looks alone. But that'll only get me so far. And get yourself a bigger animal to wear. Sam. Huh? Bronzed and mighty. He rides the waves. Austin. You know, there are many beautiful women in the world, but you, you are something else. Is that so? Yes, that is so, my Polynesian princess. You are molten lava brought to life. You ooze heat. You are liquid, and yet you turn so cold and hard. Hard? Let me get to know you. Give me a chance. Together, you and I could do something awe-inspiring. All we have to do is let ourselves go. I got 12 of them. Thank you.
exploded all over me. Wish we had big exploding balls. They had glitter, lasers, real snow, indoors. Totally she she. You were stripping. Read your contract lately? Should I? Well, you're signed exclusively to Man Alive, which means you're all mine. Yeah, to dance for women, but these were guys. It was the outrage leather ball. What's that? Footy for homos. Well, just remember, if you break your bonbon, we can't use you. Oh, relax, Melissa. My bonbons are working just fine. <laughs> no, 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 seriously, there were thousands of queers drinking like fish. They would have made a mint. Define mint. To take my clothes off in front of a bunch of queers. Hey, you do it for me every night, big boy. It was Ian's idea, and I think we should give it a go. Oh, come on, the gay market could be very lucrative. Yeah, but it's guys. Hey, think of it as a whole new audience to admire your manliness. Come on, guys. I mean, you've been complaining for weeks about how dead Wednesday nights are. If you want to get an audience, you have to be prepared to try something new. What do you think? It'll be great. So, you, you reckon? Sam won't be here on Wednesday. She's having a bum operation. Oops. Who what? Nothing. I didn't say anything. Oh, what a shame. Looks like we'll have to call the whole thing off. Nonsense. Jack knows how to work the lighting. Hey? Come on, you're an old pro at that sort of thing. Yeah, but that was... Well... Excellent! But hang on, but... Well, maybe we should discuss it with Sam. Okay, I'll do it. No, you can't make us do it. It's not in our contract. Look, Ian has no problem stripping for women. How is this different? Well, he knew what he was getting into when he signed up. This whole gay thing was sprung on us. So, you won't go on? That's right. Billy? No, not into it. Daniel? Not you too. Sorry, boss. It's gonna be a funny show without any strippers. Well, we'll just have to do it without you. Don't feel obliged to hang around. the pain of betrayal. Be gone, traitorous turncoats. Ian, you must help me prepare for my gay debut. <laughs> hey, I am a man magnet. <clears throat> so, we're left with Mostyn and Adam. No, oh, no, I can't go back out there. They're crazy animals. <laughs> I spy with my little eye a fresh virgin stripper. Excellent. Everybody, this is Clint. Oh, you guys look great. Clint's been working in Australia where his talents were no doubt appreciated. So, do you do anything apart from a cowboy? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I've got my biker, uh, my astronaut, uh, my librarian. Librarian? Yeah, yeah. But my favourite would probably have to be my Rolf Harris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With your didgeridoo. No, wobble board. Yeah. Mmm, sexy. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, you have to keep the ladies happy. Right. <laughs> Clint, why don't you show the guys uh, your stuff? Yeah, cool. Are you sure he's going to measure her? Oh, I think you'll be surprised. Think it's real? Can't be. Can it? Could be. Bullshit. It's probably padded or bolstered or something. Maybe it's a freak of nature. There's only one way to find out. Well, if you think I'm following him into the John to take a look at his water cannon, you're sadly mistaken. Ian, you go. Why me? You've probably seen more than most. A broader range for comparison. Y yeah, I get it. Pick on the gay guy. Mm -mm. Daniel, you go. No way. Look, there's nothing to be afraid of, okay? Clint's member might be freakishly large, but that in no way diminishes who we are and what we've got. Who votes Adam goes in? 
And kick and grab, slap. Now, lassoes. That's it. Vince told me you have to be ready to start at 7 o'clock sharp. Now. Well, he certainly likes Good. cutting it More fine, energy. doesn't he? And who wants to watch now a strip show at 7 o'clock at night? I don't know. And he told me they have to be home by 9. He wouldn't bring school kids in, would he? Out there, that looks exactly like my grandma. Well, she won't be seeing anything she hasn't seen before then, will she? OK, guys. Now, I know you haven't played to a crowd like this before. And I know you're worried. But they're women. And women of any age want what you've got. You've trained hard. Now it's time to go hard. Ish. Oh, you both go in, and that's where you do it. And uh, and there's a little uh, seat, that's where the girl sits. And there's a little alarm clock, so you know when her time's up. And you wear your little G-string the whole time? Yeah, well, most of the time. Now, some of the women in Sydney get a little bit wild. <laughs> so were you offered money to make the beast with two backs? No, nah, mate, there's no animals involved. And the money's good? It's awesome, and it's so easy. I mean, we should do it. Don't know if the owner will be into private dances, Clint. Well, you could at least mention it to her. Yeah, yeah, I could. But it'd be so much better coming from you. Really? Oh, yeah. And don't forget to mention the little clock. No way, it's um, international sophistication. Come on, how about it, eh? Plus, there's a little bit of extra cash for everyone. Yeah. Oops. Clint. Who is it? Some girl. Ooh, Clint's got a girlfriend. <laughs> the rest of you, back to work. Before that, this used to be Wagner's Piano House. Now, they used to have this blind dwarf piano tuner called Harvey. Every time he hit a note, he'd make this terrible moaning sound, like, you know, plink. Ah! Plonk. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Drove everyone mad. Ah! She dumped me! Melissa Walker. Mm. So imagine my surprise when I learned from Adam that I asked to go. In fact, apparently I was keen. I just thought that you'd be more suitable than Adam and I didn't want to hurt his feelings. More suitable than Adam? Really? No. No, it's out of the question. I really, truly, positively can't. Oh, come on. In and out in ten minutes. Oh, for God's sake. Just, just play do it. There she is. Pretty simple, but, uh... She churns out the cash, I can tell you. Well, I've got to run. Just slam the front door on the way out and uh, don't do anything I'd do. <laughs> right. Let's take a look. <gasps> so, I'm your lady client. Hello, Mr. Stripper. My name's Sam. Have you come to give me my private session? Hello, Sam. I'm afraid no one can attend to you right now. Please try again later, eh? Beep! Oh, come on. I won't hurt you. Sam, I want to get out of here. Just take it easy. It's really hot in here. There's no air. Just, just, just open the door a little bit, eh? Oxygen depletion. It's not good. Not good for anyone. Hey, Mostyn, just calm down. No, no, open the door! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me you were a bloody claustrophobic? Well, actually, it never came up. See, you said, Mostyn, this job involves you waving your bare ass at total strangers. That all right with you? Sure, I said. But if you'd also said, then we might want to lock you up inside a tiny red room from time to time, I would have said, get out of here. Which is what I want to do right now. Get out of here! You know what I'm afraid of? 
Being locked inside a tiny room with a crazy person. Goats. Goats? They're evil. It's in their eyes. Well, you know, given the fact there's no room! I wouldn't worry too much about goat infestation right now. What else? Quick! Mint? Uh. Handing yourself over to somebody? Take me, I trust you, you won't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, right. I hate small spaces. <laughs> Think about what you're doing, Jack. She tells me she loves me, and then she dumps me over the phone. You poor thing. I hope you had a really good cry. Well, um, yeah, a bit. Of course, she's the one that should be crying. Look what she's given up. A wonderful man who's handsome, caring, funny, smart. Oh. Well, if we were going to move in together, it should be because the time was right, or because you can't bear to be apart from me. Not because you want to keep me away from other men. Oh, come on, that's not the reason. Why don't you just buy me a chastity belt? What? Where the fuck did that come from? Women, eh? Psh. And one, two, three. Go, so, come on. How's the new flat? What? <laughs> well, we were, uh... Just wondering whether you'd done a deed yet. <laughs> a tigress who knows not the notion of restraint. There's absolutely nothing going on, okay? You're yeah, right. Come on, the least effort principle. If you need milk, you go to the nearest dairy. That's right. And you, my boy, have got a dairy cow right under your nose. I can't believe she hasn't made a move. Or maybe she has, and the noble Adam is resisting. Look, I know she's a bit of a babe, but we're just for real. Great news, guys. Friday night, everyone gets paid double. Nice. Cool. What's the bad news? Oh, well, you'll be doing two shows simultaneously. At the same time? Yes, Clint. <laughs> that is usually what simultaneously means. You'll be doing one here and one at the gates of heaven. How? You'll move rapidly between the two venues. Ah, well, sprint would probably be more accurate. Uh huh. I find you down here, surrounded by naked men. Oh, I hope you're suitably racked with jealousy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. Let's go. Claire, Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Full house. The bullpen is roaring. <laughs> we ready to go? Absolutely. Three. Two, one, go! go. Madeline.
Five is ready and waiting for Elvis. OK, Elvis is practically leaving the building. The Toreador is on the stage. Great, how about the blue team? Over. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you supposed to be back there? I don't think so. Woo What's Clint doing with the... Oh, well. Clint, there are only two clubs. It's not that difficult. Yeah, it is, Sam. I mean, you've got to calculate the time-space continuum and then times that by pi. Are you ready? Well, where should I go, then? Back to where you came from. Oh, OK. No, I couldn't wait, Sam. I sent Daniel on a... Ready, boss. What's he doing here? Sam. Sam, where the hell's Clint? Okay, okay, I'm going. See, ladies, ever since. wants to know how to give great hair. Go, go, go! Speaking of manhood, give it up, girls, for the men from Man Alive! It's OK. I think I gave him a slip. <laughs> oh, that's right. Another club, right? Oh, thanks, guys. Drinks are on the house if you want to hang around. Cheers. Alison, I'm sorry about tonight. Oh, don't worry about it. We got through in the end. Has, um... Has anyone seen Adam? Headed home. With Catherine. <clears throat> what? Well, if I had a hottie like that, I wouldn't be sticking around to hear this for sure. See you, Mel. Oh, sorry, Mel. Have you ever had a car with a great engine, but for no reason suddenly let you down? Mmm, nah. Can't really say I've ever had that problem. Though my dick's gone soft on me a couple of times, so I guess that's kind of the same. Yeah, it is. So why do you think you're... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Unresolved feelings around sex and love, that sort of thing. Now, is it a six-cylinder or an eight? Eight. Let me guess, let me guess. She was really huge. And she had lots of stinky yellow teeth and lots of moles. The ones with hairs growing out of them. She was gorgeous, mate. And as for shy, not. <laughs> Man, I can't stop thinking about how hot she was. You slept with her? Well, we had lunch first. <laughs> oh, that's okay then. You had sex with the woman you were hired to date. So what? Slut. I am not. You are. You're a dirty hoe. No, she paid for the date and the sex was free. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah. You're arguing semantics. Adam, I am not. I'm not even Jewish. Okay? Eh? It's a place. Well, I had a word to Shane. He said he'd look into your case. They must I be dropping the charges. Thanks. So is Lara returning for repeat business tonight? Straight after work. I can't wait. Clint! I want to run your solo number again. You're a bit stiff last night. <laughs> Clint! Hands! <laughs> Please tell me that's not part of the act. Oh, look, Nostin. Clint's got something wooden in his locker. What is it? 
Could be an M. Oh, no, wait. I do believe it's an E. A wood E? A wood E! And, you know, kapow. I want wow, not kapow. Give me a routine that doesn't include a one-gun salute. Hey. So, Samara giving you the, uh, hard word, eh? It's not funny, mate. I could lose my job over this. Friend. Listen, it's all about association. Okay, at the moment, you're associating Lara with sex. Yeah. N no. What you need to do is associate her with something else. Okay. Everybody ready? No, it's no good. It's Groucho Marx. Wait here. Yes. It's working. It's working. <laughs> Um, hi everyone. Uh, well, clearly I can't uh, keep stripping when I get aroused, and uh, I can't not get aroused while I'm with Lara. So I've had to make a decision. Either I quit stripping or I dump Lara, which was uh, no real decision. Great. So now I've got to find myself a new stripper. What? No, no, I'm not quitting. I'm dumping Lara. Yeah, no, do you think I'd give up my job for a girl? <laughs> I mean, Lara's great, but even she understands. Thank you, Lara. I'm quite flattered, really. I've never had this effect on anyone before. Yeah, no, I thought I'd just bring her down and say goodbye to you guys. Um, <clears throat> goodbye, I guess. Yeah, bye. And shimmy! And pump it! Come on, guys! Oh, stop, 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 stop. Now back to your places. And give me it again with some guts in it, please. <laughs> For God's sake.
God's sake, you are like bloody school children. Why? I don't know why I bother. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mistress. It was Mostyn. He should be punished. <laughs> Just a light beating, please. I'm still a bit sore from the last time. I'm glad you find this so amusing. You will not find it so funny when you are up on that stage looking like dicks. Now get into position. Bent over or across your knee? <laughs> Do you want to be in this routine or not? Well, it is kind of lame. Excuse me? Maybe if you unclenched for a minute and tried something new, you might like it. Why don't you try something new? Why don't you try impersonating a dancer for the rest of the morning? Can you manage that? Okay, I'll try it. But I don't know if it'll help this routine. What? I'd like to talk about what happened. Between you and me. It was a huge mistake. Maybe. But if there's a problem, I think I know what to do about it. What? So it'll be uh, us against some girls. Yeah, on a be you that we will kick your asses. Ah, who wins isn't important. It's how you play the game. As long as it doesn't interfere with what we're meant to be doing. Watch out, it's the fun police. And what is that supposed to mean? It means that when you look up Killjoy in the dictionary, it says see Samara. Fine, do it. But if someone gets hurt... It's on a beach. I mean, what's going to happen? We get sand between our toes? Why don't you just shut up? Or are you such an arrogant pig that it doesn't matter to you what anyone else thinks? Sam, a word. You and Sam did the deed. Just the once. Well, you managed to keep that pretty quiet. I wish I'd shouted it from the mountaintops. Why? It would have forced you to deal with it. Instead of treating you like shit. Exactly. Well, maybe you should do the deed again. What do you want? Okay. There's something you should know. You don't want me. There are plenty of others who do. Sorry? I really like you. But I'm sick of the waiting. It's your move. It's my move. Watch closely. Hi, Sam. You know the delectable Danielle, right? Works at the gates of heaven. Hi. Thought I'd just shrivel up and die, didn't you? I hope you were very happy. So are you coming back to my place? G'day, Romeo. How are you treating my girl? Hey? Eh? I saw you last night, getting into the taxi, draped all over her. Can we please start rehearsing now? You were sure going to tell me? After the game? Oh, by the way, Mel, if you could just pop on stage and get your gear off. It won't happen. Yeah, damn right it won't. Because we won't lose. No, because the bet's off. But you can't call a bet off when a bet is on. Yeah, it's a matter of honour. No, it's a matter of me not publicly humiliating myself. Do you have a problem with stripping? Only when it's me doing it. So it's all right for us to do it. Yes, Mostyn, because you're professionals in a club. I am not getting my clothes off in, in front of Vince, my mother, and the members of her bloody committee. You won't have to, because we can't lose. Absolutely no way. There's no way. You better not. I've uh, just been thinking. Has anyone here ever actually played volleyball? No. Oh. Daniel. So, uh, you and Danielle, eh? Kinda. And Sam? Well, it would seem that my legendary ability to satisfy two women at once has at last come to public attention. 
and set. What the hell is going on here? Sorry about that. We'll pay for the glasses. Oh, never mind about that. You guys are complete crap. Oh, well, Moston here's quite good. Getting better, eh? No. Come on. Same drill again. You're doing it all wrong. You've got us running around like it's a dance routine and then smacking the shit out of the ball. Oh, I like that bit. And you're the expert. At least I've played before. Nothing I do is ever right, is it? At least I'm not afraid to live, to follow my heart. Hey, um, guys. I thought it was your dick that you followed. Oh. <laughs> They're not talking about volleyball anymore, are they? I knew it. I knew you'd be eaten up with jealousy. Why? Because you screw some slapper? You're a joke. That's not what you said in the lap dancing booth. Yeah, one minute you're all over me, the next you're treating me like something you scrape off your shoe. Guys, do you want to take this somewhere, probably? No, I do not. Melissa told me to get you ready for a bloody volleyball game, and that is what I'm doing. No, that's not what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. This isn't going to work with the both of us here, is it? Not really. I'm so glad you agree. You're fired. Get out. Master, man, don't you think you should wait? For what? I got fired, I'm leaving. Well, you know, just to let it blow over. Bro, you know this is about Danielle. There's an irony. Why? Because I never did anything with Danielle. I mean, I went to her place, but nothing happened. Now, she hates my guts, too. Oops. I mean, I only did it to get at Sam. What else was I supposed to do? I talked to her. I tried that, she punched me. You know, I thought that maybe if I kissed her and then talked to her, that would work. She punched me after the kissing and before the talking. Well, try talking to her without the kissing. Nah. I'm giving up before she kicks me in the nuts. Oh, um, Daniel pulled his groin. We needed another player. Uh huh. And how did he do that? Splits. Doesn't mean I have to stay. Come on, Sam, we need you. Okay, look, you just answer me one question. If you could take back one moment in time, okay, just one, make it like it never happened, and you had to choose between when you fired Austin and when you had sex with him, which one would it be? Sorry, I'm late, guys. Hey, I thought you'd heard your groin. Hey! Oh, it's, um, comes and goes. <laughs> okay, listen up. I'll tell you later, okay, bro? Just take it. Um, these guys may know how to play volleyball and you don't. So what? You've got one thing going for you that they don't. She was joking, right? Uh, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. And if you're worried about little things like the rules, the only games of volleyball he's ever refed were in the backyard. And they always ended in fights. You're only one game down. You can do this. <laughs> Play ball!
about what happened, okay? Yeah, I'm more pissed off about what didn't. I know I led you on and, and I used you to get back at someone. But... Okay. I might. Nah. I'm thirsty. Next point wins. <laughs> myself under the table literally <laughs> literally yes it's the first time we've ever done it i mean i've never ever done it ever never there is a first time for everything only thing is i can't get out well then i'll just have to come in <laughs> happened with you and me it was a mistake you said i know i know i know i said that but um there's still a problem And I reckon I know what to do about it. Hmm. Um, ladies and gentlemen, it's... Daniel, move out of it. I thought we said two o'clock. Yeah. I got waylaid. Hi, Leslie. Mum's Hello, going Jack. to sit in and watch the new routine. Okay, Slackers, let's show Mum what you've got. And swing. Turn circles. Now kick. Moss and turn left, Ian turn right. Oh. Sink. You said to turn right. She did say right, it wasn't his fault. Mm. <laughs> Off working with sheep. They must be getting very tired. Does she have to give them a break? Mum? Shh. And one, two, three, four. Brandy balloon six. Check. Five, six, seven, eight. Large tumblers ten. Check. Hope we're not disturbing you back there. Oh, no, 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 no. You carry on. That's got real potential. Take a break. Well, it's not my fault her friends dumped her. Very nice. Come on, Mostyn. Seen it all before, dear. What the hell's this? You're not gonna eat my muffin, are you? But the ladies all love it. Ian only likes her because she makes some special sandwiches. <laughs> you like it because she laughs at your dumb jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Clint. Just because she bought you a... an athletic support. It's for my leg. 
She was worried about my calf strain. She's very caring, just like my dear old gran used to be. <laughs> Natural blonde, was she, your dear old gran? You don't mind her taste in music? The extra percussion? Professional can dance to anything. Plus, she's so nice to us. Lives home, proper breaks. Muffins, nice little foot rubs. You know, I think I'm going to need a foot massage after tonight's show. No way. So, Ian, these beautiful locks of yours, what colour would you call them? Platinum? Ash blonde or honey beige? It's just my natural hair colour, okay? Right! You're not using the maracas. No. You do. I know you're going to be fabulous. Good luck, Clint. I'm sure the star of the show won't let me down. Are you sure you don't want to do it? Oh, no, no, dear, you go. You know what? This is a good show you've put together. And if they don't like it, bugger them. Yes, <laughs> bugger them. <laughs> I mean, I didn't mean to, um... Yeah. Hey, no, no. No, no I no. can't even talk to you, all right? Oh. I'm gonna miss Leslie. Yeah, she really knew how to treat a star. Have you talking about me? Sorry, hombres. She said I was numero uno. Hold on, she told me I was the star. Sneaky old bat. Sorry, Clint. Who's the best stripper here? Actually, Mossen probably is the best. Um, just before I go, I have another little thought. Here we go. Oh, I'm sorry, Samara. I got distracted. Police. Four superheroes and a Top Gun. How original is that? Hey, some guys doing a crocodile hunter routine. Oh. What's your problem, Sourface? Well, Ian's annoyed because paltry amateurs are being invited into the hallowed Olympics of Man Alive. Oh, so there's going to be, like, medals and stuff? No, Clint. They're being scored out of ten by the judges. That's you guys, remember? Ten's good, zero's bad. Do you think you can manage that? I can count. So, do we get to wear wigs? Well, I'm not going to go easy on them, and there'll be no correspondence entered into. <laughs> Next! Now that's the mug. Daniel's date's a prison warden who got fired for excessive brutality. Scary Mary there has spent the last hour cataloguing bizarre diseases that have ravaged her family. As for yours, his mother couldn't make it, so she sent him. Bloody Adams cracked it as usual. So, plankton and jellyfish, that sort of thing. So, don't see your babe out there again tonight. She's not my babe, Clint. I don't know why not. She's certainly a step up from Scary Mary and Diseases of the World, and much more bonkable than Clint's little boy. Hey, Simon only came because his mother couldn't make it, alright? <laughs> so, you're coming, stud? She is a babe. What do you think? Yep. 
He's a slow dog, that one. First he avoids her, then boom! He's in there with the old verbal velvet. <laughs> and it's working. It's just that um, I'm not ready for a relationship. I just feel kind of uh, un unsettled. Do you know what I mean? Yes. I know exactly what you mean. I mean, I've really enjoyed our talks. And I certainly won't be lumping plankton and jellyfish together again, that's for sure. <laughs> I hope not. I think they want me over there. It's because I wanted to get this trip. Oh, yeah. God, you're... See ya. Yeah. Look, mate, just tell her you already got a girlfriend. I use that to put chicks off all the time. I thought you used your personality. <sighs> or you could tell her you've got a boyfriend. I'd be happy to go along for the ride. No, man. Tell her you've got necrotizing spondylitis, okay? That's what took out Scary Mary's uncle. Or wet leprosy. I mean, who'd stay interested in someone with wet leprosy? Just. So, Adam and the boss, eh? Jolly old Adam and the jolly old boss. The whole Jade thing was a setup, of course. Mm -hmm. An accomplice paid to create a situation. Indeed. A fiendishly cunning plan designed to send him straight into the arms of the woman he secretly loved. Melissa is a friend. She's helping me out, so I don't want to hear any more about it. <laughs> I reckon Mo's a gangster name. When we're talking about Vince's dark side here, the porn industry, prostitution, drugs. Mr. Big's dropping in on the wedding to show a little respect. So is he some piss artist old mate from way back? Or head of the Asian porn empire? Who are we talking about? Mo. Mo. Uh, legitimately comes from my uh, village. Well, if I'm from your village, so are they. Village people. <laughs> <laughs> What's Vince ever done for us? It's not about that, Ian. It's about respecting another culture. All right. Sorry. These are age-old traditions which must be observed by the men of the village in preparation for the wedding. Ah, yes. You see, we must take exotic drugs and dance ourselves into a trance. You must abstain from sex for 48 hours prior to the ceremony. With other people? Or yourself. Through abstinence, we accumulate the male energy of the village and we transfer it to the groom. This is the way of my people. Every evening you must anoint the sacred shaft with the milk of a coconut. Whoa. To go to sleep without first Cleansing the shaft is to offend the bride's ancestors. Wow. I am so there, Mo. The shaft. Hey, it's the way of his people, man. Yeah, why did you... It's customary that prior to the wedding, the men of the village only speak to the woman of the village. In song and rhyme. Why exactly? We are a lyrical, happy people, often employ music and verse at sacred times. To us, singing is as breathing. That is so beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it time you finish getting ready? <clears throat> mm. Well, hello there, Sam. You're a woman we see. Therefore, we must speak to you in poetry. For we mustn't offend the ancestors, you see. No, because that would be bad and oh, uh, rude. No. Oh, uh, unlucky. If you have been drinking, you are going to be in such trouble. Well, hello there, Sam. You're a woman we see. Get in that dressing room and get warmed up. After. I mean, it felt so nice. I broke the other rule. Clint, you heathen. You're defiling the sacred rites. And how about Adam? Did Melissa personally anoint your sacred shaft? Herself, Austin. Sam! Hey, now tell me. Would you say that I was dynamic? Well, I've definitely got artistic flair, wouldn't you say? 
And there's no doubt about my people skills. I think we should all apply and may the best man win. Apply for what? The position. Club manager, man alive. Pretty much a done deal, eh? On my way, right? I told you that those doors aren't opening until you're all wearing your hats. Listen, budgy brain. Club? Clint. No! Master, let him go! Clint! For God's sake! Hit him, Master! You're fine! So are you! I'll rip him apart with my bare hands! What the hell's going on? Clint? Yes? You're relieved of your managerial duties. Get backstage and get ready. Could you sort them out? Hi. What's wrong? We've been sold to Mr. Tits and Ass, that's what's wrong. Sorry? I can't believe you do this to us. Come on. Watch the box, Melissa. When you open the box, you will remember you want to keep the club and that your star stripper, Mostyn, brought you back from the precipice. Open the box, Melissa. Ah! Okay. See so if you remember this. Abandon. Give up. Leave. Surrender. Let go. Deliver. Abbreviate. Shorten. Compress. Did I give you a thesaurus? Epiphanous! Hello, Sam. Don't hello Sam me. How can you hand this place to Vince without even discussing it with us? Right. I'm not selling. I want it. And you're sure? Look, Adam told me how much this place means to you guys. And now I know it matters to me. So yeah, I am sure. Is Adam still? Yeah. Oh, I've been thinking. You've just got through the last four days without me. I can't be too tied down to the place. You don't have to be, no. Mm. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>